Hi, my name is Raul. I'm uh, with the product marketing team at uh, Cypress, and I'm going to show you liquid level sensing demo using PSEC 4. Sensing liquid presence is one of the key advantages of CapSense, which is Cypress technology for capacitive sensing solutions. Uh, in this case, we're going to go beyond the normal um, liquid detection whenever we are doing, let's say, a user interface. In this case, we're actually going to use the capacitance on different liquids, in this case water, to actually detect and measure a, a volume. This is application, uh, it's very broad, we can use it for, for uh, industrial applications, uh, appliances, um, small appliances where we want to know the, the measure. And this is a contactless solution, which means the liquid is never uh, in contact with the, the sensors, which is something that you desire in a lot of applications. In order to do this, we're going to use our CY8C022 Capsons Liquid Level Sensing Shield, which is basically this board right here. This is uh, only uh, Arduino compatible shield that has the connector. That's going to go, in this case, on the CY8C042 board, which is our PSAC 4200 board. Uh, this is our standard uh, PSEC 4 board. The kit also comes with uh, two different flexible PCBs that have different layouts on the back side that measures or detects the, the liquid presence. This also comes with a bottle, uh, and basically this is a peel-off, so you can actually peel it off and just stick it in the back so you can actually use it. We already have this little system set up for us, and this is the one we're actually going to use for the, for the demo. Now, important to mention that as part of the, the out-of-the-box code example that we have, you can use this demo and actually read through a, a serial interface on your computer. So you'll use the USB to serial um, communication interface on the board and use that through a terminal. So that's a basic way to do it. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, Micrium Micro C Prob as a user interface, which makes it a lot, a lot nicer. With the kit, we actually include a 30 days free license, so you can actually get it out of the box and start playing with Micrium to see if it satisfies your needs. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to cypress.com and download the files we need to program the PSOC, right? So if we go to our CY8 CKIDO22 page, we see the contents of the kit, and at the bottom we have all the documentation. We have the quick start guide, the user guide that has all the schematics, and basically every resource you need to actually replicate and do this for your own project. In this case, one of the objectives we have at Cypress is to make it very easy for you to prototype and go to market fast. So at the very bottom, we actually have our code examples, which is the, the files we're going to download. Once we have that, the package also includes a pre-compiled uh, solution, so we can just basically go to our PSOC programmer and program the solution. As we open programmer, we select the kit we have connected, the application shows the board being connected, and we're going to basically load the project. In this case, the, the bottle we have has the 12 sensors, so that's the one we're going to use. Once that is loaded, we're going to go ahead and program the solution. We see this, uh, the PSOC programmer is loading the hex file directly into our PSOC board. Once that is done, we have the shield connected on top. We have the uh, flexible PCB connected and glued into the bottle, so we're ready to go. We have the close programmer, so we have the port available. And now we're going to go ahead and open Micrium Micro C Prob. As I said, great advantages is the license that we offer, so make sure you take advantage of it. Once we open Micro C Prob, we're going to actually open a file. If you go into the folder of the files you downloaded, we have the WSPX file, which is the setup we're going to use for Micro C Prob. It's going to ask us for the .elf file, which is also included in the Cortex M0 ARM debug folders. So we go ahead, we select the ELF file, and we update. This is basically going to load all the setup for both the micro C prop and whatever is the information we're going to be pulling from the PSOC in real time. So as you can see, we have a calibrate button that's going to communicate and calibrate the, the bottle. We have a percentage of liquid and different sensors for modulation, for sensor limit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the bottom here, what we have is the variables that we're going to be pulling from the PSOC. So once we have that, we can go ahead and run the system, and there you go. One of the challenges we have with the liquid level sensing for PSOC is we don't know, based on the reading of a, of a sensor, we don't know if that means there's water or there's not water. In this case, it shows as uh, all the sensors have something to detect, so what we need to do is do an empty level calibration. 
And we do this by pressing this button. And now what we told the system is, right now there is no water. And now it's gonna wait until we get some presence there. I have some water here, let's go ahead and pour it into the bottle. And what we're gonna see now, we have the percentage of 13.6%, and we have roughly 21 millimeters of water. Now, important to mention, what we're doing now is we're actually measuring uh, the level of the liquid. The volume is actually calculated based on the container that we use. This means that all of this is programmed in such a way that we have this bottle considered. If we have a bigger bottle, you can still uh, uh, glue this on top of it and read the height of the liquid or the, uh, or the level, but the volume is gonna change, right? So if I pour a lot more water into it, we can see almost uh, real time, an immediate reaction. Right now we are uh, roughly around 40% of the capacity and you can do it until you have most of the water down. Very simple demo. This is a great way to interact with the part. This is all information that we're pulling from the PSOC, and you can you you can use that for uh, doing actions, for uh, managing different uh, outputs as well, based on the inputs. And this is a great uh, system and a great way to use the user interface provided by Micrium. All right. So I hope you enjoy uh, the demo. Make sure you get the kit. Make sure you use your uh, PSOC four and uh, share whatever projects you come up with with us at uh, cypress.com/projects. Thank you.